Hi, I'm Roger Lynn, and I'm going to be demonstrating the basic functions of the Adrenaline 3 front panel. It's really pretty straightforward. Whenever you turn the power on, this main LED will go on, indicating that the four general purpose knobs have the functions of preset, drum beat, tempo, and volume. If this light isn't on, at any time I can just tap that and it'll go on. So at this point, I can adjust the presets. I can look at my preset and drum beat listing, and I can select any preset I like. For example, or I can adjust any drum beats. There are 200 programmable drum beats. or tempo or volume. If I want to increment the preset, I can hold down the foot switch. If I want to decrement the preset, I can hold down the left foot switch. Also, every preset has its own programmed in effect, and that's what the effect foot switch is for. If I turn this on for a particular preset like preset 2, which is a Fender Twin Reverb, I know the programmed effect is eighth note tremolo. Turn it on, turn it off. Also, if I want to invoke the tuner, I just tap and hold this guy. And then hit either foot switch to get out. So it's pretty straightforward. And these things are printed, although very small, on the front panel. Now, if you want to get into deeper editing, that's what all this gray area is for. Each one of these um, cells in this 4 by 8 matrix is a parameter to be adjusted. The first six rows are parameters that control the preset. The first two are mod effects settings. The second two have to do with the amp models and pedals. The last, the fifth one rather, has to do with delay settings. And the last one is compressor and reverb. Now the seventh row has to do with drum settings. And the last one is the system row containing system parameters like sync, noise gate, MIDI channel, etc. So let's say, for example, we're on our preset 2 and we have our 8th note tremolo on and we want to change that to 16th note tremolo. So we go into the modulation effects setting and we find the word speed. We select with this, these two buttons up and down the parameter that says speed, make sure that the uh, column LED is lit, and if not, just turn it one click to light it, and it says 8th note in a 7th segment display. Let's change that to 16th note in time of the beat. 8th triplet, 8th note, quarter note triplet, quarter notes, and it goes all the way up to 32nd note triplets and all the way down to every eight measures, or you can have absolute settings as well. Or let's say, for example, we're on the Fender Basement Amplifier, and we'd like to increase the drive. Let's take the, app, the amp's output volume down a little bit first, and turn the drive up. Or you want to adjust the treble, or mid, or bass. Right. Or let's say we're on the Deluxe Reverb, and we want to turn the reverb up. Let's say we like those settings, and we want to save it in the preset. Now all we have to do is follow these instructions here. Save preset, it says hold, comma, tap. Probably the camera won't pick that up. But at any rate, you just hold this button, then the, the lights flash, prompting you to select the destination preset. If we don't want to change it, we just leave it as it is, saving to the same preset, then tap it and a beep confirms the save. You can do the same thing for the drums. Now if you want, you can get very deep in the editing, and you can actually program in Adrenaline 3's filter sequences, and that's done with the black lettering in this gray area. 
showing you can set the level of the sequence for bars 1 and 2, steps 1 through 16 of each of the bars. So that's a quick overview of the operation of Adrenaline 3, and that should get you started.